Hey folks, 1881MF here on the Life Buzzing Channel. Got little, little Debbie Does behind the camera. Today we're going to go to part two of our video. Uh, we took gold off of our memory chips on our previous video. Now we're going to clean that gold up a little more. Uh, we're going to use some acids and stuff, so we need to have our safety equipment. We want to make sure we have a respirator and, and some goggles and some rubber gloves because we're going to be using nitric acid and muriatic acid. So be prepared with that. We're also going to be using some urea and some sodium metal bisulfate. These are going to be used later in the process. Ultimately, the acid is going to melt the gold, and then we're going to strain off all the junk. And then from there, we're going to add these ureas and other stuff to take that gold back to a solid and go from there. So stay tuned. Alright, that's going to start melting that gold up. I'm going to put it on my hot plate. If you have an old coffee maker or something, that's the perfect hot plate to use. See that acid? That would ate me. I'm going to put this on the hot plate and turn it on low. And all that gold is going to disappear. Well, let me have that camera, baby, and I'll, uh, I'll walk up there with it so I can kind of see. Hopefully you can see that starting to eat it up. Stay tuned. All that gold's almost all the way dissolved already. So the next step, once you're sure all your gold's dissolved, which it's pretty close, is we're going to strain it through a coffee filter. The same way we did last time. Strain it through a coffee filter, use some, dissolve, some distilled water to rinse it, get all your product. And then we'll go from the next step from there, neutralizing that acid with our urea and uh, this, uh, whatever we call that, sodium metal bisulfate. So, yeah, good job, thanks. In this case, the liquid is the gold. So that acid dissolves the gold, but doesn't dissolve all the plastic and all that other crap in there that you don't want. So this is just another way to make it even more refined. All right, here we go. We're going to strain it now. We're going to strain it in a, through a coffee filter, plastic strainer here. And we're going to use our distilled water again. Out. And then after that we're going to add a little bit more distilled water to it and put it back on the burner for a few minutes. But this is probably going to take a little while to strain through, so we'll be back. It's liquid gold, people. And you can see all the crap that's left in there. It's the old memory, green stuff from the memory boards. Other pieces that I missed. It's been straining for probably five minutes. Now you can see all the crap that it's filtered out of there. That's the stuff that you don't want. It makes your gold not so pure. So I'm pretty happy at that. I'm going to rinse anything off here that's yellow. Get it in the pot. And now I'm going to 
I'm going to add about four or five tablespoons of distilled water. This is still highly acidic, so we're going to add that in there. Put it on the burner. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> burner and now we're going to add our urea basically what the urea is going to do is neutralize the acid we're going to start with one tablespoon of this and then keep adding it until it stops bubbling That's all the acid neutralizing right there. Okay, so now we've added our urea to our our uh, strained gold mixture, and this is all liquid gold. So now we're going to add our sodium metal bisulfate. We're going to need two teaspoons of that, and that's going to turn all that liquid gold into metal, into hard, hard another solid. I mean and it's going to take a while this is all going to dissolve in here and it's going to get kind of muddy looking mud gold i think they call it <coughs> don't worry that <coughs> i was just going to say oh i think i smell it but as you can see it's starting to turn it kind of brown that's the gold coming back <coughs> yeah don't breathe that probably should have my respirator on still so all that it's brown mud, mud wow. gold, whatever it's called. So now we're going to let this sit overnight and it's all going to settle back down and everything on the bottom is going to be our gold and it's going to be ready to smelt. So we're just going to let this sit and settle. So I'll see you back. I'm getting out of the way. I really smell it. Bye. Okay. All right. So this hasn't really been sitting overnight, but it's been sitting long enough to separate. So I'm going to slide you around and go over here to this filter. We're just going to filter this again. Coffee filter. This time what's in the filter or what's in the container is what we want. And don't breathe that. Right there. That's our gold. See it in there? Believe it or not, when we melt that, it's going to be gold. So now we're just heating up the gold. It'll take it a little while. We're just getting up. I'm going to get it all melted. You can see it's starting to heat up. Stay tuned. There's our gold. I melted it down again to make it look prettier. Now we're going to weigh it. So right here we're on grams and that's at zero. There we go. 1.91 grams. So, 100 memory chips melted down, a little bit of work. 1.91 grams. I think right now gold's $1,200 an ounce. So that means 75, 80 bucks. It was fun. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. And I'll keep them coming. 1881 MF. Life is just a buzzing.